What is the best colour soft plastic for trout? I get this question quite often, and in this video, I'm going to answer it. Hey you! You're watching Robbie Fishing. Now soft plastics come in many different brands, many different sizes and shapes, and many different colours. How do you know where to start? Well there's no best colour. There's no better colour than any other colour. It's all about what's going to work well on the day. I've got my go-to colours, which are the colours that I go to to start with, or the colours that I'll go to if what I'm doing isn't working. I call them go-to colours. I suppose you could call them the best colours, but they don't always work. Some days they're not the best. So in this video I'm going to just talk about how I choose choose what colour soft plastics I like to use on any given trout fishing trip. Now let me just start by telling you I've just come off a trout stream about an hour ago. I've been fishing with soft plastics and I started off with this. This is a starlight coloured nymph by Strike Tiger. It's black with blue spots and the fishing was good. It worked well. I caught two and I lost two or three others and had a few follows. So it got the, it lured the fish out and the fish hit it but I thought I reckon I can do better and increase my hookup rate. So I then went to this colour, which is black and gold. It's the same as this, but it's black and gold instead of black and blue. But I went to the nymph. That's a different, I haven't got, I haven't got any left in that colour. So that's a, uh, a tea tar, but I went to that colour, but in the nymph. And what I found was the fish were still following it, but they weren't hitting it. And I didn't catch any, I didn't even get any real hookups. So I thought I'll try something different again. And I went to this. This is a, a leech in coffee colour, so it's a sort of brown coffee coloured leech and I caught nothing. I have had some ripper trout fishing sessions with this soft plastic, but today nothing. No follows, no hits, didn't lure any fish out, so I went good, okay, bad. So I went back to that, the, uh, the starlight, and I caught a couple more trout and had a few other follows. So while the starlight wasn't perfect, it was the best on the day. And while the coffee coloured nymph didn't work really well, that has been the best on the day for me in the past. So that highlights how color, colours of soft plastics can vary so much from day to day. Now how do I choose which soft plastics to start with on any given day? How do I know which colour to start with? It's a combination of knowing what's already occurring naturally in the environment and also having my favourites, my go-to colours. For example, in March and April there's a lot of crickets around, so any of the blacks will work. The black and blue, which is Star Lord, or the black and gold, they'll all work really well. In May, May and early June, just before the season closes, the crickets have all gone, the March flies have gone, there's not a lot of black around. Something like an orange might be a better option. I'll see if I've got one here to show you. Something like that might be a better option. That's actually called trout row colour because that time of the year, the trout are spawning and trout eat trout eggs. They're cannibalistic. We call them nest raiders. Quite often the rainbow trout will come in under the brown trout's nest and eat the eggs and the eggs are that colour. So that colour might be worth trying in May or June. But then in saying that, there's times in May or June when that colour doesn't work, so I've got to put on something else and try again. It's all about starting with what you trust and, and working from there. I often start with the, uh, the black and gold or black and blue work today and see how it goes from there. Today, uh, sorry this season, earlier this season I've had a lot of success with this colour here which is a, quite a new colour to the market and that's the Strike Tiger Disco. It's black, it's got all the blacks in it, I like dark colours but it's also got some gold flakes to reflect the sun and it might just help the fish see it better and I think that will be good on redfin as well because of the gold and, and the light colour so it's a nice dark colour with bright in it. Now I've got this rule of thumb when I'm trout fishing. Dark natural colours for trout, bright colours for redfin. I've got some here to show you. These are the colours that I'll often go to when I'm redfin fishing. That's a Strike Tiger Nymph in white bait pearl colour. That's my go-to soft plastic when I'm redfin fishing that. Or this one here, the Strike Tiger Grub in banana shock colour. That works very well on redfin. This vodka and orange is a natural colour. That works very well on redfin, but that will work well on trout in the autumn. So my advice, if you're, if you're looking to buy some soft plastics or go trout fishing with soft plastics, 
is to build up trust in a colour and work on the theory natural colours for trout, bright colours for redfin. So start with something natural, a green or a brown or a black or something of a natural colour. Once you start getting a few fish on it, you'll build up trust in that colour. And once you've got trust in that colour, that will become your go-to. And then when you can go fishing and you can start experimenting with different colours, knowing that you can go back to your go-to colour. Something else you need to factor in when you're choosing your colour is water clarity. The clearer the water, the, the more colours you can get away with. And there's different levels of water clarity. You can have really dark tannin stained water, but it's still quite clear. And you can have really white sandy coloured water after heaps of rain and the water's dirty and it's a real pale colour. In those conditions, I find black is a good colour. The black sort of contrasts with the light colour of the dirty water. And in the clearish, in the water that's cloudy but reasonably clear, I like black because, or any dark colours, if the trout, if I'm fishing the soft plastic just under the surface and the fish look up, the black is going to silhouette against the sky. It's going to silhouette against the sky better than the light colours. So while it might seem that the light colours might work better in dark water, quite often the jet black or the really dark solid colours can work really well. But once again, that doesn't work, try a light colour. There's no, there's no right or wrong, there's no best, there's a best on the day, but there's no overall best. There's a right on the day, but there's no overall right and wrong. So here's a couple of short takeouts for you when you go out soft plastic fishing with trout. Stick with a colour and try and build up trust in that colour. For me, the first colour that I ever used was a black and gold, a black and gold nymph, and I built up trust in that, and that became my go-to colour, just like the white bait pearl has for redfin. They're my go-to colours. I've built the trust up, I know they're going to work when all else fails, and then experiment from there. And then work on the basic theory that trout-like natural colours, mud eyes, nymphs, minnows, tadpoles, they're all dark natural colours, they're not bright, leery colours. Redfin, however, They'll, they'll hit a lure quite often out of curiosity. So bright things with a lot of bling, things that rattle, things that are bright, things that are unnatural work better for redfin. So work on the theory, dark natural colours for trout, bright leery colours for redfin, and then develop trust in certain lures and then work your way up from there. From once, once you start catching a few fish on a soft plastic and build up that trust, you won't look back, there'll be no stopping you. Folks, I'm sorry I can't just give you an answer of what is the best colour soft plastic, but hopefully what I have given you is a few ideas so that when you go soft plastic fishing, you might have a starting point.